Yes, you are correct, man. You are co definitely correct. <clears throat> so, Polaris Rhapsody was chosen by draw. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, as I was saying earlier, this map is good and bad for Protoss in different ways, but if you can get the, the double gas, yeah. and then take the, the last gas base and fortify that with the wall and cannons and templars, you're in a really good spot. You know, I actually, I was thinking about something. You said that if you take, if you can split this map like in half, right, as a Protoss, and it's pretty good for Protoss, but now that I'm looking at it, if you look at all the map, there is a lot of mineral, there's four mineral onlys, right? Four? Yep. And how many do we have kind of like there's not that many gas bases if you consider I know. So yeah. Like you get your four gases and that's it. Or, or five. five. Five, yeah, five, five gases. That's the because that's actually the same as the your opponent is gonna have, so mm -hmm. And the Zerg can never outgas you, which is what they wanna do. They wanna have more bases than you have, but uh, I mean that's the good thing about two player maps in Protoss versus mm -hmm. Zerg. Like they, they inherently favor Protoss in that sense. Because the Zerg can never get more gas than you. I never actually thought about it that way. I mean, the, the way that I usually thought about two base, uh, two, ma uh, two player maps was that you get a perfect scouting. That's that's good part, and that's good for Bronos, yeah. And that you can get that you might kind of be able to deny hatchery for some time. You know, things like these. Oh, it's easier to deny hatch too. That's right. I mean, those things all matter. But what really, really matters, in my opinion, the main reason mm -hmm. why maps like Blue Storm have like sixty percent PVC these days. And maps like uh, Match Point have 55% PVC. Is that once you take half the map and you defend it, it's like <laughs> Zerg has to attack you. He can't take more bases. He has yeah, to like drop okay. at the bottom and attack at the top. And if you just defend long enough, you win for free. Well, I I'm sure that my uh, D level skill would probably not allow me to do that, but okay, I, I will try to learn that too. Uh, but yeah, you need to fortify every base. You need to have like Templars cannons at every base. Yeah. And we have the 11 uh, Nexus, by the way, that you were talking about. Yeah. Ross doing it. And interesting, it's actually quite interesting for me because uh, this was a Ovi Pool, I think, was it? Uh, uh, yeah, Ovi Pool. That's right. Because. Uh, interesting. Uh, the way I'm thinking about this is Ovi Pool actually uh, is slower than 9 Pool, right? Yeah, it is, for sure. Much lower. It's the standard I build these days. Huh. Yeah, I mean in terms of Zerglings. And we can see that the wall is actually not linked tight at the bottom. Yep. But at least Ron knows about it. Uh, last game we saw uh, gems. It was gems, right? Yeah. He didn't know about it, so and if you know about it, it's, it's not as bad. He got punished for it really badly. Yeah. Now we can see that what Draw wants to do is he wants to have um, a single entrance for one thing at a time, so he can get away with one cannon. But unfortunately, Ooh. because this wall isn't tight, it's gonna need some more probes to block. Yeah, and and it, it gets even worse if you consider that actually when the, when you do this build, you usually go for the two cannons. But if you go with the cannon and, and gateway, <sighs> he's not walling off anymore. <sighs> the links, the links could run in now. But if they go the under, if they go under the forge, he no, needs to block. Okay. Oh my god! Yeah. Okay, he's reacting now. Is it gonna be enough? No. Oh. For a second there, I thought that maybe Trudach was just gonna make the biggest mistake that he could make at this moment, but... That yeah. Ling was like, bam, <laughs> he turned around. Yeah, yeah. It, it was like, why are you still alive? Alright, we got the reinforcing things coming in now, no cannon. Yeah. Wow. A lot of mining time denied. I mean, this definitely will give a lot of mental problem in terms of, you know, how you're gonna feel. I think Draw is uh, one of the better players at dealing with stuff like that, to be honest. Well, like he... Yeah, maybe, I mean... Because but... he's just so damn arrogant. He's like, it doesn't <laughs> matter, I'm still better. You know? I know he's arrogant, but, you know, it's kind of like all these people who, who are very arrogant, but you can feel even in the in their voice that some, but sometimes it kind of crumbles a little bit. It, it's Draw a, never crumbles. He always feels superior. It's hard to say when they are actually saying that because they mean it or because they're trying mm, yeah. to reinforce their own, you know. <laughs> well, I believe that Draw means it. Like, he's always in good <laughs> He's not in good spirits. He's irritated. He's easily irritable. But he doesn't let it impact his play as much as it otherwise could. Well, I, I will tell that personally, at least for me, it's actually when, especially when players kind of like laugh at me or something, that actually uh, increases my my skill by quite a lot, so... Oh, because you I get pissed and you want to win, right? I, not exactly, it's not yeah. that I want to win, I just, I, I want to actually the game to speak for me, you know, so it's... Mm, yeah. 
no. want to tell him F you through StarCraft. Yeah, by the StarCraft style, basically. Yeah. We, we see StarCraft our... equivalent. His build is done for Zerglings, right? It is, but uh, so... he finally closed all of the gaps. Yeah. And... So, I mean, we have actually, it's still okay for Bra, even though he was he lost to Mining Time. We can see that the tech uh, timing is not that bad. He's going to be able to get one or two Overlords. Yeah, because of the Zerglings, there. the amount of Zerglings that were actually made uh, actually yeah. slowed down the True Touch as well. True Touch wanted to uh, press the advantage and run in again, but he didn't. And so he should have just made runes instead. That would have been nice. I was. I'm thinking because I know that draw has a very particular style of playing PVZ, but especially considering now that he is getting even a full scout with a probe, which is something I don't understand. <laughs> well, the speed just finished, so there was no speed for a long time. Okay, That's okay. why the probe uh, was free to to get in like that. Uh, first Corsair is out now. Spire not even done. So, and uh, the thing is, like you said, he did see everything with the probe, so he doesn't need. To scout with the Corsair, he can instead hunt Overlords with the Corsair yeah. without taking a risk. Although he... But the question is if he will find any in time. Yeah. Because he, uh, the probe, I, I don't know if the probe kind of checked it and at the same time he remembered, okay, there's one Overlord here and another there, or if he just went you know, with the probe, just auto sent it. <clears throat> while Looks he like he's going to the natural, uh, where he will find an Overlord to kill. And there's still like 70 points more for the Spire to go, plus the build. That's two. That's two so he can hit and run on this overlord for sure. He, he, he definitely can. He's ahead on, on Psy over control now, which is good. That's what you want. So this build did actually work out, even though he did hit a few bumps in the road with the bad wall and yeah. uh, the run by. The build is still doing its job, putting him in a decent mid-game position. Got Scourge on the way now. Draw should go home now. He should know that Scourge on the way and he shouldn't stay in. I mean, if you're really fast kind of with your reaction time, you can actually still run away if you actually yeah, but see if he reacts. Oh, no. Oh, oh, yeah, good. Very good. Mm. So that's why he stayed. He, he knew that Scourge were on the way, but he also knew that he could react. Okay, so he was basically, yeah, he was considering the fact that he has to look for that. But th that exactly. those two are... Oh, he might actually lose Corsair. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they should Scourge be able to hit it. From that distance? Oh, yeah, that distance actually hits. So I think he was sending them basically, you know... To the to hit the other corsair, but when he realized that he's not gonna get to it, just basically clicked on the corsair. That was oh two scourges. Yeah. All right, so we got the mass gateways now. No mass corsair, no plus one. So it's gonna be, and I agree with that. On this map, you need a really strong mid game army because otherwise you can't expand. It's as simple as that, you know. And that's what he's preparing for. He's preparing for a strong two base army. Mm -hmm. and, and do we have where's the hydra then? We don't have it yet. I think what Trutish is going to do, he likes to do this on every map, and it's really good on this map, is he's going to go mutating and just counterattack left and right, and then get to Hive, uh, without even making any any mutas with him. So. I don't know that that's actually the smartest idea, because mutas are, they're, they're very good as what you say, that, you know, hitting and running and things like these, but you, you do have some ways to kind of get around that problem as Protoss, right? So... One of them would be to have a pretty strong army and some Corsairs. Uh, luckily, Draw now is forced to make more Corsairs. Oh, we got some speed loss, by the way, yeah. coming in. Uh, and he's not ready for this, actually. Natural. And the Mutas... He's gonna send the Mutas now, but he might lose some drones. He should go for the drones. There's not that many Mutas yet. I mean, some of them, yeah, but okay. One drone, two drones. Yeah, a lot he's of He's gone for the Sunkens a lot instead of drones. Three drones, four drones, like five no, 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 drones. He's still aiming just with a few zones. Six drones. I, yeah, but in the beginning he wasn't. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, but then he did it, and now he got like seven drones. Oh, and, so and also one Zelt still is alive in the main, which is always a, a big, mm, big, big. Nice, he can scout later and go in and kill some more stuff. Yeah, and, and, Very and, nice. and another Zelt going at the third, but checking out that there's still sunken, so the sunk is there, so no, no, no reason to go there. Alright, excellent start by Dryer. Yeah. Now, anyway, uh, back to what we were talking about. Yeah. So, True Touch wants to skip the mid game, just do, uh, like, Fly into the main with Mutas, and then to get Hive. And on this map, once you get Hive, you already have four gas with only three bases, and that's why it's so good on this map. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, the Protoss has a hard time expanding on this map, so having a mobile army is nice. Because if he defends his main, you take out the expansion. If he, expands, if he defends the expansion, then you fly into the main and you take out the, the gateways. 
Although that, I, I, I see where that goes, but I think, if I remember correctly, this map did, did give some Zergs actually mineral problems rather than gas problems because of the four... You know, for gas... Whoa, a lot of mutas just died there. Like, that arc... Yeah, you're, you're gonna have fewer Zergs than normal. But uh, nonetheless... Oh, wow, that's pretty crazy. Damn. Well, these mutalisks are not uh, getting anything done. He wants yeah. to be harassing and he wants to force Draw to defend, but Draw is just attacking, forcing the mutalisk to defend. But there's still no expansion for Draw, right? He's still not taking any. Right, this is still two bases, but he's doing so much damage in two bases. I think it's really good for him. Yeah, definitely. Oh, and the Corsair's now with the Archon. He needs to micro the Archon against the Scourge. Ooh. Alright, so he lost uh, two Corsairs, but still. Still. This is great damage being done by Draw. And Draw is adding more game things, so he's gonna go for like a. He's, yeah, pretty much all in. 2009 right? style humbug. He's just like, oh, and look at the main base. 11 kills on the Zealot, guys. Oh. That one Zealot came back. Completely. 11 kills. Yeah, while he was <laughs> at attacking. At the same time. While he was yep. attacking. 12 natural. kills. Oh my god, guys. This is a lot. What a war hero. This is definitely not going well for two that. <clears throat> Third base finally going up draw. Yeah. Because he might as well. Yeah, because Just I mean, in case, you know. Yeah, since he's <laughs> doing so much damage, so why not at the same time? Because Tudas definitely will not be able to defend his bases yeah. against these constant, like, small packs of zealots. I mean, 400 minerals, that's only 4 zealots. You can still keep the aggression up with 4 zealots less. So, it's yeah. totally okay to ins uh, you know, insure yourself in the late game, just in case the Zerg survives. We've got the mute this counter attack on the way, but the draw has Orcons there, so. No problem. Although the question is, since Draw is actually taking not the double gas, but a mineral only, then... Hmm. Basically, I have to take this first. Like, that's the thing, like... Uh, this is a two-player map, which is good for Protoss. But a lot of the other things favor Zerg on this map, such as the Protoss having to take a mineral only first, while the Zerg gets two geysers. You know, that's pretty good. And also, the expansions being very far apart from each other is good for Zerg. I mean, that definitely it's, it's a very difficult thing to do. Well, Drutaj is not actually take, taken at all his fourth gas. Yeah, he hasn't. He doesn't have enough drones. Because he's been losing so many drones. That's yeah, that, that's true. And I was thinking about the, the fact that usually when you have so much gas, it's actually pretty easy to get a few lurkers. And that kind of stops it all is. the aggression. Of... You go for that style. I mean, you can definitely go for a mass lurker. Mass unit style on this map. And you, you know, get a big army, use it to take a fifth gas. That's an option, for sure. This attack, I don't think it's gonna work. He should pull back, which he's With doing. With three Arkans, it might. If he, if he went in now before the Sunkens came in, yes. But as the Sunkens are, are finishing. Yeah, I mean, it's it's always a difficult kind of choice to make, especially because he just has our, the three Arkans as uh, anti-air. And yeah. you don't want to kind of lose that much gas, and then... Oh, whoa. It would actually be better to go for the third base. As Protoss, yeah. you always want to move from base to base. Like, Go to one base, check the defense. If he has defense there, go to another base and check the defense there, because then you force him to get defense everywhere. And mm -hmm. also keep moving uh, units which you can sometimes intercept. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. Definitely, definitely, I agree with you there. Although I think that draw knows that he, okay, he's not that far ahead right now. Like he this definitely is ahead in terms of the fact that he has the same amount of bases. Yeah. But and a better army too. Yeah, but the the thing is, I. He doesn't seem to be able to kind of kill True Touch. He definitely can't kill. I mean, he could have attacked the third. That would have been really good. But he yeah. wasted his army at the natural. That was bad. So as it is now, yeah, he can't kill him for sure. He needs to just focus on getting another base up. Right now, he needs but, that. But that's actually an interesting thing because he's he could actually right now go for the double gas because definitely True Touch doesn't have the, that an army that can Certainly deal could, with yeah. this. If he just leaves like you know, two Archons oh, and a Temple there. There we got the going to now we got the main. Said. But we have a temp already. And this is what and we need to. He's gonna get sniped. Man, he's got a storm. He's got a storm. Yeah, he's got storms. Ah oh, man, that he really needed that storm. That would have been really good. Ah, uh, right, we got the scourge oh, taking up the like, stairs. Oh god. Is this so, actually turning around? Well, it's it's rough, but we have a third. Uh, I mean, a fourth base going up the ground. Yeah, but if he gets that base, he's losing all the probes in the main. Wow. What the? Guys. I... Did he... I, seriously? I... 
Yep. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Probably inexperienced fighting that style. Truth just has his own style, and if you're not good at dealing with it, then you're gonna die. But even in that case, I mean, he was definitely not behind. Uh, I mean, he took a lot of damage. But behind? But it was no, bad. Stay behind. He still got a chance to. He didn't really. No, I would have kept playing, for sure. I think he'd have to. Soon. I mean, especially because he. Even if you don't know how how the position is, he did kill a lot of drones. <laughs> like, that is he, I mean, he had one zealot with 12 kills. Right? Yeah. <laughs> So, I know, and he had a fourth phase coming up, which he yeah. could have defended. He had Orcons at it, you know, he had a Templar there. So, he could have just slowly kinged out the main, and then play four bases to free. I mean, I can understand, well, still, like, it's his game. If he doesn't want to play it, he doesn't have to, but just surprised that... I don't know. It's... Well, Draw has revealed that he doesn't take the game like that seriously, he just plays for fun. And I guess well, he has, wasn't having fun in the game, so yeah. I mean, it, definitely, it's not. I, it's not like uh, how do, how would I call it. It's not like, for example, I would say that he's uh, playing the game. I don't know, like badly or something. I was just surprised because usually uh, when you have a situation like that, I, I would take it even as as a little bit more interesting because you know there's a lot of chaos going on. I know. Yeah, I think that's fun. And yeah, it's not fun if everything goes your way. And especially the, the 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 cool thing for me, at least in this kind of situation, when you when there's so much chaos, is that you know that one storm can mean so much, or these kind of moments that feel like you barely manage to do something, or something. It's fun, oops, many times. Yeah, I agree. That's a, that was a fun game.